Hi everyone and welcome back. So it's time to deep dive into the React testing and here we are going to explore all different options for the testing. Okay, so in React what we are testing basically, uh, we are testing the components that okay I created a button component that look like this on the browser but when I do the real testing is it acting like that like you, you, you simply create a counter when you click on button multiple times you are increasing a counter so what you will be testing okay first of all button is rendering properly or not you can also create a snapshot that we will cover later the snapshot testing which what it talks about is uh, it compares the snapshot of the button uh, by doing the rendering okay the other thing is you will be first of all rendering the button component then you will be firing an event okay there is a click action you will trigger and then you will check okay the counter has been increased by one or not this is what you will do in the testing so it's like a DOM testing uh, you are simulating the different events click events scroll events enter I mean entering the content in the text field and then submitting submitting a form and then checking that event has been fired or not and all these things okay so overall we are doing the DOM testing and we are basically rendering the component so why we need a testing library we can do it easily with react DOM because react DOM is doing the same thing it is a react library I mean the core library which is helping us to mount the component onto some DOM node that is what we are doing here we created a div node okay and then here we are rendering this div input uh, I mean input is your custom component you have created onto this container node and here you can check the container div dot query selector input to have a default value or not right this is the test case you have written this is fine I mean we can use a react DOM library but when we, you have to write a well managed testing of a different components then react DOM become tedious and you have to look for alternatives because the react DOM is not made for traversing the DOM in the test cases and simulating the events and all these things I mean it is doing indirectly the same thing on the browser but not made for traversing and doing the snapshot test and all okay so what all terminologies we are using here first of all let's clear that out so we are using jest let me just write it down so jest is a testing framework so you can see jest is a runner which is going to provide us a testing framework we are and the assertions and the mocking all these things just is going to provide now how we can do the testing for react component like mocking writing the testing framework is not enough we also need to traverse simulate the events inspect the DOM inspect the component if component is rendered properly or not so for that we have two other libraries we have to use with jest which is engine Engine, this is the one library and another popular library in the react world is react testing library okay we are first going to talk about react testing library then we will talk about engine engine is developed by Airbnb engineers I mean this is again uh, another library what it does it is actually helping us to render the component using its own methods it is helping us to assert manipulate and traverse your component output because at the end we are re rendering the component somewhere and then we are checking the component different parts of the components we are traversing it we are manipulating the component by simulating some events right this is what the engine does right so engine provides us a different utility methods that is also another important part okay it provides three different utilities which we need to understand just for the basics so we are clear so engine provides these three different utilities which are important one is a mount shallow render I mean these are the three different ways in which you can render your component you can mount you can do a shallow mount you can do a render mount okay what is the difference here mounting means full dome rendering including the child components like you have the parent component and number of children component then you can use a mounting so uh, this is the idle for where you have a component that may interact with the DOM APIs or use lifecycle events and all okay uh, so we can use mount and unmount unmount is unmounting the component from the DOM node once you are done with the test shallow 
shallow renders only the single component i'm talking about this so there are three important utilities which enzymes provide because these are the libraries just is a runner not that not the library to test the react component just can be used with any framework but just will be used with enzyme just will be used with a react testing library to test the react component here i'm talking particularly about react testing okay so there is another option is shallow what is the difference here shallow renders only a single component not including its children this is useful to isolate a component unit testing okay let's say you have parent component home component you just wanted to test okay home component renders it has all the divs available it has the buttons and all these header header links and all it is good so this is important shallow and as of enzyme 3 shallow components do not have do have access to the lifecycle methods by default so you can access the lifecycle methods now render render to a static html that also includes html does not have access to the lifecycle methods i mean less costly than mount and less functionality i mean now you can decide okay you, i wanted to test only single component parent no children shallow i wanted to just play with the html what it is rendering render mount means it is going to render all set of children's i want to play with the life cycle events uh, using the testing then you can use all these different methods okay this is about engine now coming back to the react testing library here this library we are going to use if i show you a simple example which uh, so here we will start with uh, create react app and then we will start adding the test cases and we will see what code is needed to test a particular component okay so we'll go to our src folder and here we have just uh, app.js and index.js okay uh, index.js is importing app component inside app we are rendering the let's say let's call it as a hello component that is inside body okay this is our hello component and we are passing some title so this app component is something which we are going to test by passing the random titles and all now go to this component and there is a hello.js right so what this component does currently it's empty but it is receiving the props this is the title is the props it is receiving so we can define that okay this is the title we are getting and what all other things we are doing here we are just having a simple gsx and one simple hook use state hook so const count and set count this is how we define use state a state is initialized with zero and we are going to have a click method click method which is going to increase the state value and this is we are going to click from button but to update this we can call set count and we can set the count plus one count is a initial state and we are just increasing it by one now what this component is rendering this is interesting and this is what we are going to test a simple uh, div and some paragraph and html tags let's say h1 okay inside h1 you are putting the title value which you are receiving in the props and then you have p tag which is putting the count which you are keep increasing and then there is a button button type button and here we have a click method on click handler on this on click handler is calling this handle click arrow function and let's say here we are saying tap me okay this is the button so this is the valid gsx we are ready with the component now what all different kind of tests we can write for it and how to do the setup i mean if you are doing it with the create react app you don't have to do anything right you you have everything already ready you have the package root json test script npm run test you have to do and for writing your tests you can do is you can create your test folders inside your src or inside your component i mean whatever the structure you use so i will just create here test let's say 
test inside this I can define my component whatever the test case I'm going to write let's see hello dot test dot gs I'm writing the test cases for the hello right so first I need to do is I will be importing the hello component here and then checking the different assertions for it so what I'm doing is let's say import react react from react and import body import our component which is hello from we have to go out from here and then there is a components folder inside this I think we have hello this is how we are importing our hello component and then we have to what all different test cases we are writing describe I mean your test case and this is the callback function this is how we write our test cases and inside describe there is a it block this is how we are going to write the just test cases let's say I'm saying finding title this is my first test case then again a simple callback and here I'm going to write the test case so here from react testing library this will help us to render the component and play with that and this render we are getting from testing library okay it's not going to come testing library react this is what we want and to handle the click event we are going to import again testing library user event testing library user event because we have to simulate the click action right everything is good now what we are going to do is we are going to render the component right first thing we have to do is okay let's say const component and then we will fix the, all these things we are going to use this render utility provided by library and we will pass our component this is the component and do we have any props yes we can pass the title this is the title I'm passing okay so this is my component now this component is we are rendering it but how we can inspect this component right so there are some utilities which the uh, testing library provides like if uh, you wanted to test okay that you want you can also check that this component is going to uh, render a particular text this title somewhere in the HTML or not right so for that you can use get by text so it will give us the text representation and then we can use expect get by text TK Sharma the method we are going to use is to be in the document that means the string is in the document or not the document right so get by text is going to get us all the text which this component is going to render and get by text the string is in the document or not right this is the simple first test case now other test case what we are going to do is this testing library provides us okay I wanted to check what is in the h1 what is in the paragraph tag how we how can I get this button tag to click on to this so for that we have to use the id tags test id tags and these are called as like h1 tag right so I will be using data des test id let's say I'm calling it as a title so data test ID here I can put this as a count and here I can put it as a button right now using this let's say you render the component how can I check the title value is the same value which I am passing in the props so you can directly inspect by using this get test by ID okay these are like special placeholders and the framework is designed in this way only so if you wanted to use this we can simply use get test by id and we can pass the id 
finding title with test ID which we have created okay so here we are going to use get by test ID instead of that okay same props we are passing and now get by test ID here I will be passing the title and title is a props if I'm not wrong get by test ID title and title is the same props which we are passing so this should be equals to uh, to have a text content so it should be because we are not matching the exact word to have a text content these methods you will back become familiar so this title should be the same if you want to make the exact match then you can simply write okay this is starting with uh, there is a special symbol you have to use and ending with this ending with the dollar that's it that means this title is having an exact match with this okay so finding the title with the test id similarly the another test case we can write that is again on the same thing here we are going to use the paragraph tag p tag and the test id for this is uh, we are going to use different test id let's say count right so we are going to get test by id and here we will pass count that means give me the text content where test id is count okay and this is talking about the count so initially that count is zero until unless you click on the event so that should be equal to zero right now we need to find uh, the button and do the tap first of all we need to find the button and do the click on to this so this is our test so test can be check counter value after click initially it is zero that is proven here right now we are doing the same thing we are going to get the button first so this is first is rendering and we can use get by test id and test id is the button so this is how we can also get the dom node so test id is button for that and then we can just do now we already have imported user event on the top then we can use user event dot click to this button right and we clicked on to this once now if we try to get the content it should be equal to one right then another test case we can write is if i click on to this twice the the count should be two change the description accordingly get by test id we got the button we clicked on button twice so this time if you click on button twice then the value should have should become two for this count and the count is the p tag here we are showing the count count plus one count plus two okay let's see if our test cases are running we can also check on king you can see the messaging like you got the explicit that user event dot click is breaking right okay so there are two failing let's see what is that and then we'll try to fix check counter value after click user event is not defined okay okay this is use dot this should be user event just a typo okay. and we can get the uh, outcome now and this will run when you save your file one failed which is coming from app.test.js don't worry about it so everything is passing for us now right so this is about the basic setup basic setup means how to run the test cases how to write the test cases for a basic application like hello world application now we will increase the complexity of test cases for an actual application like uh, where you are uh, where you are writing a lot of hooks routing where you are integrating with the apis and all these things okay uh, thanks everyone